And for the first time in weeks, you can go to a restaurant in order food and eat it actually right there as long as you're outside. Yes, this is in South Carolina where things are starting to feel more like normal tonight. We have some video to show you. Look at this, a site that we haven't seen in a while. People outside simply enjoying this meal outside on the patio at this restaurant. Channel 9's Tina Terry is joining us live from Rock Hill tonight. Tina, have you seen many people taking advantage of the newly loosened restrictions there? Oh yes, Erica, a steady flow of people have been eating outside of restaurants like the one behind us right here. No crowds to speak of, but some owners who struggle today say that this is a good start. Six weeks ago, concern over the COVID-19 pandemic forced the owner of Rock Hills Roasting Company to close his doors. I just told everybody, hey, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but the best thing you can do right now, I'm going to let you go temporarily, apply for unemployment. I'll push it through as quick and as easily as I can, and then we'll see on the other side of it. Today, Mitch Grant has reached that other side. He hired about 10 of his old employees back to help customers who dined outside today. Thank you. Across town, other businesses opened their patios and some plan to expand outdoor seating. It's kind of weird. It's almost like opening day. There weren't any huge crowds at the restaurants we visited. Most seated one to two tables at a time, but those who came out were excited to get back to some normalcy. Really, I think everybody's taking the proper precautions and everything, so I feel pretty safe. And while there weren't huge crowds, some restaurant owners are confident that more will come with each day that passes. I think once more people do it and realize that it's okay and see us and others doing it right, I think more people will start to do it. And we told you earlier today at noon that these restaurants really have to comply with some strict guidelines in order to open up in this way. I asked state officials how they're making sure that that is happening at restaurants. Hear what they have to say tonight at 6 o'clock. Back to you at the desk. All right. Thank you, Tina, for showing us the view there.